Guys, it's 7.08. I'm so early. Oh, I forgot to turn the TV off. That's going to bother me. Hold on a Hold, please. <laughs> Damn it. Janet. All right. All right. Oh, that's so much better now. How are you guys doing? Are you hanging in there? How you doing? I just asked you that. <laughs> Can you tell how I'm doing? Oh, here, let me take a drink. Mmm. Mmm. Do you know what kind of drink this is? Well, you know, I did that live stream on my channel with Better Off Red for Halloween. And there was like a, like a mixture, a mimosa mixture left over that we didn't finish that I just left in the fridge with a cap on. So it's like, you know what, let's, let's make use of that. Let's not waste that. Let's not be wasteful. So I just poured that into some Tito's and added some more orange juice. And here we are. I typed, I searched vodka, orange juice, champagne. Apparently that's called a, hold on. Let me reference my description box. Ah, yes, it's called a champagne screw or someone called it that and I'm lazy. So I went with it. Um, oh my goodness, I made it really strong. Whoa, mama. Okay, so Lisa Blancet was first to comment. She wins the award. Fiance cooking dinner. Bragging. Be here soon. Midaval Rosé will be in hand. Okay, fancy pants. Robin Spencer says, Aloha, Bobby Loves Beauty is here. Um, Sassy Red says she's going to be popping in and out, but watching it on the TV. Oof, wow. It's, it's a big visual of my face. <laughs> Mama Roo said, my first time catching Kate the Great live. Oh, I'm so glad you could make it. Welcome. Jerry Morrison is here. Bev oh, wow. That is like, I'm sorry, but that is hitting, hitting. Uh, Lily Reed is, of no is nauseous about the election day tomorrow. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Same Z's. Sarah, wait, I think I saw my friend Sarah here. Sarah Kleinsmith is here. Shen Shandy Beauty Fusion is here. Uh, okay. Well, just have a lot to scroll through. Lily Reed said, I really need this live stream and the gig, the G, the GJG. Okay. I can't read the GJG today. I had a scary incident today involving a Trump supporter neighbor. I have racially profiling me and he started following me and my dog. Mm. Oh. <sighs> okay. That makes me that filled me with rage. Uh Lily, that's insane. I'm so so sorry. I'm so sorry. Thought I was angry. Didn't know I could reach another point of anger, but I did. <laughs> mm. She said, I know it's scary and this is not the first time he's done it. I'm very obviously Chinese and I think that triggered him. Wow. Well, okay. <sighs> okay. That is some bullshit. Um, hi. Oh, Denise Whitman. Hi from Canada. Thinking of you. All on the night before the, yes, election. It's snowing. Mm-hmm. I didn't get the pillows the way I like them. Hold on. See, I, I, I really thought, I started earlier than normal, and I thought I, I thought I had it down, but I don't. <laughs> Damn it. 
Yes, Meg's the painted lips said this. Uh, thanks to everyone for being so supportive and positive. Agreed. Agreed. Um, Jenny with a Y said NYC is boarded up. It's like the summer protests all over again. We've been seeing pictures of that. I haven't, uh, I went out in Harlem today. I didn't see that in Harlem, but I heard that further downtown that's happening. Seeking Ashley, Kate, do you stand up during this entire live? Yes, girl. I stand up during all my filmings. <laughs> People, I get that question a lot. People are horrified. I think I'm, I think I'm the only YouTuber who stands. Um, it's really just, it's, it just makes the most sense because when I film this setup right here, this is, this is an Ikea, uh, drawer. Can I talk? A dresser. That's what's a, <laughs> that's what that's called. A dresser. It's a dresser. It's very tall. And the reason I film here is because it's, it's right beside like the only main window in the apartment. So I, well, not at night, but I, I get some nice natural light. I also get some air cause you know, it's nice to have air cause we don't have central, central heating, central cooling in New York city, central air. So I have to stand close to the window. Isn't that glamorous? Isn't it? Um, okay, sorry, I'm seeing a lot of comments. <laughs> I'm just like looking at the comments. Bobby loves beauty, loves my nails. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Um, Cheryl, Kate, did you see the black box and hereditary yet on Amazon Prime? Black box? I don't know what that is, but I, I definitely know what we saw hereditary in the theaters and it was incredible. Um, okay, so here we are. We already have 205 people here. I think it must be due to stress, but hey, whatever brings everyone here. Uh, so today I figured I would do a full face, a uh, get ready with me, which is literally what every single one of my live streams is, but a get ready with me. That is a full face of Sephora VIB sale recommendations, because here's the thing, <laughs> Kendall, Kendall Schmidt, I'm ready to rage buy some makeup. Yes, girl. Yes. Make yourself beautiful with that rage. Um, so I did a, a video, my, my latest video that I put out uh, on Thursday is a, is the whole video going to be me like just really talking slowly like this? Cause I'm not gonna be able to handle myself if it is. <laughs> if it is. Focus. Okay. The last video I put out was the same thing. It was a VIB sale recommendation video. I really like whittled it down and honed in. But there's so many more things I have to recommend. And I've been watching other people's recommendation videos, which has then jogged my memory and been like, why the hell didn't I mention that? Like I watched Lisa J's, Lisa J Makeup's video last night while I was making dinner. So many of her favorites are my favorites. And I was like, well, damn it. Uh, Michelle Wong, same thing. Like several things that she mentioned. I was like, I should have mentioned that. So I... I really try to focus. This is, I have quite a few products here I'm gonna put on Mafache, but they are all like, this could also be called Holy Grail products or products worth the money, or I don't know, just, just fill in the blank. It could be all those things. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. I do want to mention voting right off the bat. I mean, I feel like if I don't, like, what am I doing with my life and my choices? Um, I've already, we've already voted. I voted last week. Randy voted absentee ballot. Um, but I do want to say that if you are voting absentee, I, I feel like this goes without saying at this point, but listen, whatever, let's just, 
let's just spell it out. It's too late to put it in the mail, so you need to drop it off in person. Um, what are the other things I need to say about voting? If you have mailed it in, be sure to track your ballot, make sure that it has arrived. In order to do so, just Google track my ballot and whatever state you're in, it'll take you to the appropriate websites, walk you through how to track it. Okay, I don't know that people can actually hear you that well, so I'm going to repeat that just to make sure. Um, if you have mailed in your ballot, you need to track your ballot. And you can just, I guess, Google search, track my ballot, make sure that you're good to go. Um, <clears throat> a friend of ours said that her niece uh, was flying to Texas today because she never received her absentee ballot from Texas. So she's flying to Texas to vote tomorrow. That's some dedication. I'm sorry if that hurt your ears. Um, Jenny with a Y said, if you have a mail and want to vote in person, bring your ID and your blank mail-in ballot with you to your polling location. Great. Oh, Molly P said, I sent you and Randy a package with some goodies from Texas. They tried to deliver today but didn't have access. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. That should not happen. I have a UPS mailbox. So the only thing I can think, that's only happened on a couple occasions, is that I don't understand things, okay? I'm just, I'm just guessing, but occasionally I think they've tried to maybe deliver it before the store is open. I really don't know. But it will get delivered. I know it will. I have faith. I don't have faith in USPS. No shade to anyone who works for USPS. I'm just saying in my neighborhood it's a hot mess. Um, but I do have faith in UPS. <laughs> because when I go there, they treat me like gold. Oh, super chat. Ashley A sent a super chat. Claps for the family friend flying to Texas. She is a hero. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, also, I just want to point out, I know I said this twice before, but why the hell not pound it home? Um, Ashley A that lady who just sent a super chat, she has a great YouTube channel. She just hit uh, 1K subscribers. Please go subscribe to her. She's just, she's a delight and she's a pledge. Um, she's just got the sweetest face and the most likable personality. Um, I just, yeah, I've said it before and I'll say it again, but she, I, she's like a person I want to just sit down and have drinks with. So anyway, please go subscribe to Ashley. Um, and just to close on the whole voting thing, yeah. if you do track your ballot and it says that it hasn't been received and approved and all that, mm -hmm. call your county's board of elections, ask them what to do, and if you need to, just make sure that you have enough time in the day tomorrow Okay, so that's true. Just you gotta go slow, cause I'm I'm slow. <laughs> let me try to let me try to remember what he said. He said, if they haven't received your ballot, call your county board of elections, figure out what the dilio is, and make sure you have enough time in your day to get there and sort it out. Yes. Make, yeah. Make sure that you have enough time in your day to go to the polls if they say to that you. To go to the polls if they say that you need to. Okay. I, I get nervous talking about this stuff because I don't want to instruct anyone in the wrong way, even if I'm like listening to it secondhand. Also, I'm terrible. Side note, I don't know if anyone else feels this. Like as an actor and a musician, I'm terrible at listening and repeating something. But if I can read it, I can do it 100%. But hearing it, I'm like... Brrr! Yeah, it's a problem. Emily Boynton just became a, a Good Job Gang member. Welcome, Emily. Um, okay, people are saying they can hear Randy. Okay, good. He's just a little, you know, I figure he's a little muffled, so I just wanted to really drive it home for anyone who didn't quite hear.
Uh, oh, JoLynn Foster became a good job. Wow. Welcome, guys. Welcome, JoLynn. <laughs> Emily said, just became a member. You had me on the makeup, but Randy's info about ballot tracking. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, Scars to Stars Beauty is here. Hey, Danny. Hello. So, oh, Beverly said cozy here in Texas with my cabin five wine, bright cellars. Yes. That sounds magical. Yes. Okay. So, so we already have 248. Oh my gosh. Paula B44. Oh my God. I finally made it back to a live. Welcome, Paula. We have missed you. And thank you for the generous super chat. That is so, so sweet. So now that I have, you know, 250 people here, I'd like to say, if you're here, please give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I have to say, I've had a lot less thumbs downs lately. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means that I'm weeding shitty people out or what's happening. Who's to say? Um, but anyway, <laughs> please give it a thumbs up. And, uh, oh wait, I think I missed uh, a notification here. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. I just got a Venmo notification from Jennifer Pietka, who sent two black hearts and a hundred dollars. Jennifer, damn it. Jennifer, thank you. So sweet, so generous. Pinky Little Mama said, hi, I'm new here, and sent a million emojis. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Jeez, so many notifications. Feeling the love. Feeling the love all around tonight. Um, what was I even saying? Oh, yeah. If you could uh, give this a thumbs up. If you could also subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, that'd be awesome. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, hit the notification bell. Hypothetically, it's supposed to work, okay? It sometimes does, so it's it's worth it. Even if it works 50% of the time, it's worth it. And the other thing you should do is share the shit you love. You know? If you like it, share it. So, <laughs> Scars to Stars Beauty is singing Can You Feel the Love Tonight? I love it. Can you feel love tonight? Um, Maggie Myers, what are you going to do tomorrow to distract yourself? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that there's actually anything we can do. <laughs> Except drink? Play, play phase 10? I don't know. Jenga? Drink? Scrabble? Drink? Wait, what? That shit's gonna be on all day this morning. <laughs> yes, we're gonna have the news on it. We're, 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 we're not putting our heads in, not, you can put your head in the sand and there's no judgment. We won't be. We will be living in full on pain over here, okay? That's how we like to do it. Uh, oh, I just got a PayPal notification. Cheryl McNeil sent $20 clinking glasses in the club. Yes, Cheryl, clink. Clink. Is there anything better than Abraham Lincoln as a cowboy? Or as Randy likes to refer to him, John Wayne, John Wayne Braham Lincoln? I think not. I've only had like three sips of that and I feel like I'm wasted. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting, okay? Um, Melissa H, my best friends and I are planning to stuff our faces with tacos and drink margaritas as results start to roll in. That's great, I love it. Um, mm hmm Okay. I think I'm going to have to have some Cheetos. I'm just, I bought these for Halloween. Cheetos are my favorite junk food. Um, well, 
the last four years, a certain person has been referred to as a Cheeto. And I'm offended on behalf of Cheetos. Especially the crunchy ones. I love the crunchy ones. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Back it up, 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 back it up. Oh, Lauren can't handle food sounds. Sorry, Lauren. Sorry. I had to get something in me because I, I'm feeling it. What are my feelings on the Flaming Hot Cheetos? I have not had them yet, but I will. It's like, I'm a little nervous to get them because what if I don't like them as much and then that's all I have. Like, I don't eat Cheetos very often, but when I do, I want it to be right. You know what I mean? I'll eat them. You won't eat them, you don't like cheese. I like Cheetos. What? Yeah. Also, Flaming Hot Cheetos taste less like cheese than Cheetos do. They just taste like burning. Okay, learning new things every day. Okay. Um, um, <laughs> okay. If you're horrified that Randy doesn't like cheese, you've, you're, you're late to the game. Okay. Don't make me explain it again. Don't make, don't make me. Yes. Randy doesn't like cheese. It's a whole thing. It's very upsetting. I can't, oh, I'm so tired of talking about it. I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. Welcome to my fucking world. No, welcome to my world because all I wanna do is share some cheesy goodness with someone. Okay, moving on. Whoa, the comments are rolling in and I can't keep track. <laughs> Sarah Kleinsmith, they have Flaming Hot Cheetos popcorn on Amazon, and it's a run, do not walk situation. What the hell? Um. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I will check them out. I will check them out. Tiffany Tanda, my husband hates cheese. Tiffany, let's talk. <laughs> How do you feel? How do you live? Is it painful? Is it sad? Um, Debbie O, is there a setting to slow down the comments if that's of interest on, you know, I think there is a setting for me to do that. I saw that, but I didn't know what it meant. So I was like, well, I don't know. Well, now I know, but oh well. I That's, that's when you get really you're really popular where you have to slow down the comments. <laughs> oh, people are asking where this, these glasses are from. I always drink out of these. So these are from, I should probably just link them in all of my live streams. If you go on Instagram, it's called paste P A S T E. And it's a New York city based artist and he does really weird shit. It's like really funky and weird. Um, just, you'll find him. I think, I don't know that he makes these glasses anymore though. They're good glasses. Okay. Polly B44, are you Jen Love's guest this weekend? No, I'm not. Thanks for making me feel like shit. <laughs> but that sounds great for whoever is. Um, Okay, so I did my spilio and we're going to jump into the makeup. So a couple things. So Sherry Ford, Maggie Myers, we need Kate the Great glasses with your pretty face on them. That's a little much, don't you think? It's a little creepy to be drinking out of Kate the Great glasses. I mean, listen, okay? I'm taking the note. I'm taking the note. Um... 
Oh my God, my friend Sarah Kleinsmith said, I just sent you and Randy the popcorn. She just texted me, Sarah. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Okay, so a couple, couple pieces of business. Wait. This is very important. It's very, very important. So Sherry Ford, I got a box from Sherry Ford today. I sent off a box of makeup to my friend Sarah Kleinsmith because I have too much of it, okay? I, I decluttered. Should I have filmed it? Yes. Did I? No. Because I want to get rid of that shit. So <clears throat> I sent her all kinds of goodies and I walked into UPS. This is like how full service they are. I mean, I, I don't think you guys understand. Like when I walk around my neighborhood, I look like a dude. Like, well, you can see. So no makeup, like trucker hat, hoodie. I have sweatpants on and biker boots. I've absolutely been called sir on multiple occasions, like 100%. But I, they've seen me in so many different forms at UPS that they just know me immediately. Also, <laughs> yeah, they're magical. So I walked in, I had to print off, print something off on the computer. I hadn't gone up to the desk yet. They already clocked me. I hadn't given them my package yet that I was going to send. And they just plopped down a package next to me. And Mike was like, here you are, Miss Cousins. And it was a Sherry Ford package. It's a Sherry Ford package. And I was like, well, it looks like I'm trading all of the stuff I'm sending for whatever this is. So anyway, that's not entirely true. Sherry Ford, it's like she tops herself every time. I don't understand. This is the note she sent, okay? I love how simple it is. It's on a, an orange sticky note. Just a little something to make y'all smile, Sherry, okay? I've already seen what it is, so. This is from a company, I have linked them in the description box. It's called the Malicious Women Company. Pure Maliciousness, established in 2017. This is a candle company. Oh, Audra at home is here. Welcome Audra at home. Yes, we love Audra. Okay, there are three candles, so get, get ready. So the first candle is because men light candles too, setting the mood. Oh, infused with setting the mood. Okay. 45 hour burn time, cotton wick, 100% organic soy. That just gave me a chill down my spine. It is like woodsy and delish. They get better. They get, they get better. The next one is, it's stuck. That shit is stuck in there. And you know, with my claws, it's hard to get out. Okay, here we go. 2020, very bad. Would not recommend one star infused with pandemics, politics, memes, alcohol, and tears. Oh my God, that smells, I wish they'd list, I, I need the notes of these things and I'm terrible at describing scents, just terrible. It smells like I wanna just eat it. It's so fresh, so fresh and so clean. If you wanna know the notes, you're gonna have to go online. I, I, I can't do it. Um, and then the third candle is called fuck infused with absolute fuckery. <laughs> Hand poured in Snohomish, Washington. That's where these are made. Read the bottom of the candle. Oh, 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 okay. No, the bottom of the candle doesn't have the notes either. It's okay. Just go and go and check it out. They all smell like a damn dream. Oh, Stephanie Leslie, I'm from Snohomish. Oh my gosh. Whoa. 
Well, do you know about this company? You better get on it. So I linked, I linked these candles in the description box. Thank you so much to Sherry Ford. You guys know I'm a candle hoarder. Okay, so this is very exciting. <clears throat> the other thing I want to mention is some lashes that I was sent by a channel, a YouTube channel called Sean K Beauty. She has her own line of lashes called Chandelier Lux Lashes. Look how pretty they are. They're beautiful. These particular ones are the bridal collection. They're called Pink Diamonds. And again, of course, I linked these in the description box. And these, if you use the code Lady Kate, they are 10% off. And I put that in the description box as well. So I, you guys know I'm not a huge lash person, but listen, there's going to come a day when I'm feeling sassy and I'm going to do it. I can't say when it's going to be, but thank you to Sean K Beauty for sending these. They are just gorge. They're gorge. Okay. So those are my orders of business. I think I missed a lot of comments. Makeup and Travel said the fuck scent notes are blueberry cobbler. Freshly harvested blueberries are folded in between warm, fresh baked dough. The ultimate summer indulgence topped off with vanilla whipped cream. Is that for real? Did you take that from the website? I didn't, nothing smelled super baked goody to me, but whatever it was I was smelling, I was into. Let me scroll back up here. Helene said, just popping in to say hi, and I'm here, but I'm watching you on my TV. Wow, I am really <laughs> blown up on that TV. Sweet Escape said, Kate, what is, I'm gonna get going. I swear to God, I'm going to start doing my makeup in just one second. Kate, what is your favorite fragrance? I need some new parfums. You know what, the scent, the scent that I use the most is the Glossier, not available on the Sephora sale, Atoll, but this is the Glossier U scent, and I just spritz it everywhere. It's so fresh. Ah, it's so good. Okay. Oh, Christina, Christina Warner just became a member of the Good Job Game. Welcome. Okay, let's dig in. Okay, so need I say it again? I'm going to anyway. Everything I'm putting on my face is a recommendation. It is a holy grail, it is a run, do not walk, it's a ride or die, whatever the hell you want to call it, that's what it is, okay? Now you'll notice, look at that, look at that. Isn't that nice? Oh, it feels so good, yeah. Um, Randy and I named, well, Randy named my pimple Felicity, so we can refer to her as such this evening. <sighs> I'm associating it with stress, I suppose. So first things first, we're starting with primer. I'm going in with my rare, this is my current favorite primer, okay? It is the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. And it is indeed super de duper illuminating. I also want to let you guys know that this Wednesday, I'm having my other happy hour live stream. You guys know I do them every Monday and Wednesday, but this Wednesday is very spatial because I'm going to be doing it with the Michelle Wong and the Better Off Red on my channel, of course. Um, but they're going to be my special guests and we're going to talk about The Vow. And more importantly, we're going to talk about Seduced. So if you have not watched Seduced, I'm not going to get into it right now because I don't want to have to restate things. But all I can say is... It's so much better than The Vow. It's so much better if you do not have a membership to Stars, 
get the free trial. There are three episodes right now. Catch up on it because we're going to talk about it. There's so much to talk about, way more than like when we only have the vow. Way more. Okay? So that's what's happening for Happy Hour on Wednesday. It is a documentary. Yes, it's a documentary. It is told kind of through the eyes of um, India Oxenberg and her mother, Catherine Oxenberg. I've heard enough. Okay, Catherine, we get it. You want to be in the spotlight. Understood. Um, but it, it's just, it's like what I wanted the vow to be, to be quite honest with you. Anastasia said, I didn't see the vow. Maybe I'll try seduced. Just watch seduced. Just watch it. I was kind of blown away. I was like, wow. And it made me a little bit resentful of the vow. But anyway, <laughs> anger much? Oh, Sherry Ford. Sherry Ford just sent a notification. Or I got a notification about Sherry Ford. Venmo, what a freaking day. Glad you like the candles. They gave me a laugh. And Lord knows we all need those right now. Pins and needs for tomorrow night and the rest of the week. She sent a $100 Venmo. Thank you so much to Sherry Ford. You are an angel person. You are. Thank you. Um, Seduced is on stars. It's on stars. Okay, so we, we just, we used the Rare Beauty Primer. Now I always forget this shit. We're not forgetting it tonight. This is the Becca Anti-Fatigue. Oh, it's hard for me to open because claws. Okay, this is becoming a problem. This is the Becca Anti-Fatigue um, Under Eye Primer. I swear this makes any concealer better. Really, you see mixed reviews on Becca. I really, huh? I thought this was beloved. I think it's a run, do not walk. Okay, next we're going in with foundation. This is, this is something that when I look back on the video I put out about the recommendations. I was like, this was a miss. I really, really love this foundation. This is also a favorite foundation of Lisa J Makeup. This is the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation, Broad Spectrum SPF 20. Yes, the Noble Gas Argan, the Becca Brightener is genius. So it makes sense. This is, yeah. Okay, so I use the shade Shell. And this really is a Goldilocks foundation. It's, it's not the dewiest foundation I have. It's somewhere in between a medium coverage and dewy. Every time I've applied it, I'm like, okay, well, that's just my skin, but better. Cool, 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 cool. Olivia Rizzo, your skin is flawless. Well, not really. <laughs> Say hi to Felicity. Felicity welcomes you. Jenny H, I'm not a Sephora member, so I can't get anything for the sale prices. Yes, you can. You can get 10% off. It hasn't started yet. Um, but you can get 10% off if you, I think you just sign up for a free account or something. I don't know, but you definitely, that de you definitely can. And the reason, well, one of the many reasons I'm featuring this foundation is because it's expensive. Okay. <laughs> it's La Mer. It's $120, $125, something like that. 
So I say if there's something really, really expensive but incredibly amazing that you want, you should get it on this sale because, you know, it only comes like twice a year. Sweet Shay, what's the one must-have item to buy from Sephora? Wow. Sh Sweet Shay. <laughs> Girl, that is... That's overwhelming. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. The one item? Just one. You're evil. You're evil. <sighs> I'm at a loss. I'm at a severe loss. <laughs> Yeah, makeup or skincare, it's, that's hard. I mean, cause it's like, I would say go with skincare because skincare tends to be more expensive and it's more important. So I guess if I had to hone in on skincare, oh man. I'm gonna have to think about that. I don't, I don't have a, I don't have anything right now. And I won't be pressured. I was going to say the Dr. Dennis Gross LED mask. I was going to say that it is super, super duper expensive, but I'm obsessed with it. And it is Benjamin buttoning me. Yeah. Oh, better off red. Better off red said pharmacy honey potion. You know what? She's right. She's right. Like it's my most talked about item since almost day one on my channel. The honey potion. There you have it. Thank you. Better off red. Why did I need a reminder? I do not know. Well, Sweet Shay said she hasn't tried it yet. Sweet Shay, girl, get on it. Put that in your card now. What are you doing? De Devo says, Honey Halo is the best moisturizer. I do have the Honey Halo. It's, if you need a rich moisturizer it's magical anything in their honey line just amazing amazing oh better off red said she's doing the honey potion right now yes so healing so hydrating okay i think i put enough of this on my face but so impressed with that Thank you to Miss Sherry Ford for sending this because that's the only reason I have it. Okay, next, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. So next we have, is anyone surprised? The Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Concealer. This is the best concealer, guys. I use it all the time. I overuse it. Nancy said, have you used the Honeymoon Glow by Pharmacy? Is it great? Yes, it's great. I use it like once or twice a week. It's fantastic. I do talk about a set in my recent video, my Sephora recommendations video, that has all of those things. It has the Honey Halo. It has the Honey Potion. It has the Honeymoon Glow. So get that. But use my link if you do it. Oh, I get that. Oh, I keep on forgetting I have my Miss Piggy mirror that I can use. She's important, okay? She must not be forgotten. <laughs> We're gonna do our best to get rid of Felicity, okay? Look at, she's being erased a little bit. A little bit. Hilby42, do you like the Rare Beauty Concealer better or the Pat McGrath? Oh, wow. I really like the Rare Beauty Concealer. I really like it. Um, it's in my top three, but if I had to choose, I'd pick Pat McGrath. <laughs> Sweet 
Scars to Stars Beauty. Felicity, Felicity is being booted out of the chat. That's right. You're not welcome here, Felicity. Damn, that concealer is good. It's so good. We're going to do just a little bit more concealer, but I, I try not to like put too much product on top of a blemish because then it just starts to look like cracked and cakey and like you're never going to completely erase it. You know what I mean? Like you're going to see it if you're looking. So we're going to just do our best. And then when I, when I set it with powder, I'll go back in with a little bit more, but Ooh, make it a beauty mark. Scars to stars said, mm, that's a good idea. It's actually a good idea. I do enjoy a beauty mark. Okay, so, oh shoot. Okay. <laughs> There's always one thing I forget that I set out that I link and I forget it. I was supposed to use this Rare Beauty um, brush to set the concealer. I wasn't thinking, but Better Off Red is the one who told me about this and it is truly amazing. Um, it is like a finger under your eye. It sets uh, concealer perfectly. So if you're looking for something to set your concealer, blend it in gorgeously, highly recommend. Sorry, I forgot to use it. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Next, we're moving on to, well, we have to follow the Pat McGrath concealer up with the Pat McGrath under eye blurring setting powder. Yes, yes, we do. So good. I'm going to put just a little bit on Felicity just to brighten her up. Cheer up, Felicity. Cheer up. Okay, next I'm going to set my face again. A lot of these things are, if you watch my channel, they're not going to be a surprise at all. This is the, sh I use this almost every live stream. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Setting Powder. This is my second one. I'm already hitting pan. I love it so. Oh, also. Wait. One thing at a time, powder first, thoughts second. Sweet Shay, how is that part, how is that powder different from the Pat McGrath one, please? Well, it's bigger, first of all. I mean, I interchange these, but this is tiny. We don't need a tiny powder like this for our face. That's too expensive. So if you're going to choose one, I always say get this one, but like get both though, because this is for your under eye and it's super brightening. And this is the perfect all over powder. I just love it. Sweet Shay, don't ask me to pick one again. <laughs> you're done with that question. You're tapped out. I'm just kidding, kind of. 
Okay. I'm gonna have some more Cheetos. A brew. Yes, I'm curious. Sorry. I'm curious about Felicity too. What? She's a pimple. It's just as simple as that. All right. Next, we're moving on to bronzer. So in my recommendations video, I use the Charlotte Tilbury matte bronzer. So I thought tonight to mix it up, I would use my other favorite bronzer, which is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light. It's so good. So we had a really fun Halloween. We watched four movies. We were champs. We watched Hocus Pocus, which Randy had never seen. I know. Don't get me started. And I, I was a little skeptical because I was like, I don't know, like seeing it as a 37 year old person. I don't know if that's going to go well. He really liked it. He really, really liked it. <laughs> um, and it was so much fun to watch with someone who hadn't seen it. It's so brilliant. Like Bette Midler, Kathy and Jimmy, Sarah Jessica Parker are just, they're stars. I mean, okay, well, we all know they're stars, but brilliant. Comedic timing, Kathy and Jimmy makes me laugh out loud. My zoo heard a rumor about a Hocus Pocus reboot. No, no. <sighs> can we not with the reboots? I haven't seen the witches yet and I can already tell I'm gonna be annoyed. I can already tell. Anyway, if you love Bette Midler, if you like comedy, if you like cute spooky things, You'll like Hocus Pocus. Sorry, there are so many comments. I'm just mesmerized by them. I'm only going to watch The Witches because of Stanley Tucci. Fair. That's a good reason. I, he's, yeah. Same. I mean, I'm going to have to watch it just to see. But my friend Heather already told me that Anne Hathaway is like off the rails. She said off the rails. And I said in a good way. And she was like, no. So. Jenny H. I have to say, Kate, that I've been getting a lot of inspiration from your looks lately. They're different than what I normally do, but I'm totally into it. That's so nice. Thank you for sharing. I think that's enough bronzer because at this point I'm getting, you know, pasty. So I can't have too much color, but I think that's good. No, Max Craven. Apparently there might be a Hocus Pocus musical coming to Broadway. No, no, come on. Guys, don't get me started on Broadway. On Broadway. I just, can we, can we just, can we not just remake things for Broadway? <sighs> I 
anyway, you know how I feel about that. Um, okay. We're done with bronzer. We're putting it, we're putting her away. Thank you, Hourglass Bronzer. You did an amazing job. Goodbye. So now I'm going to go in with Blurch. Yeah, Max Craven. Broadway loves to take stuff that's already been done and then redo it, reinvent it. Yeah, it doesn't need to be reinvented. We don't need a reinvention of Hocus Pocus. It was good on its own. We're done. Wait, wait, wait. Cheryl McNeil, I don't know if she can be any further off the rails than Rachel getting married. She's referring to Anne Hathaway. I have to say, I think that was one of Anne Hathaway's best roles. See, that's off the rails in a way that I can get down with. Because I'm like, yeah, she's a mess. And that was like, well done. I love Bill Irwin in that. But like, we don't, I don't need to see her trying to outdo Angelica Houston in The Witches. You know what I mean? Like, we don't need that. Mina Wani. Okay, so this is a repeat. Sorry, not sorry. So that just goes to show you how much I love this cream blush. I featured it in my last vid. This is the Shiseido Minimalist Whipped Blush. Whipped Powder Blush. This is my favorite shade. It's called Chioko. It is a soft baby pink. We're gonna go back in and double blush, don't you worry. But this is just the beginning here. Yeah, everyone needs this blush, okay? If you don't have this blush, you're making a mistake. So we watched Hocus Pocus, we watched Trick or Treat, which was cute. I thought it was gonna be scary, but it's actually more like funny scary. We watched, okay, this is important. We watched The Guest, which is not necessarily Halloween-y. It's more of a psychological thriller. It takes place on Halloween. Oh, it does take, it does take place on Halloween, I'm sorry. but. It has Dan Stevens. So if any of y'all watched Downton Abbey, and I know, I know you did. He was Matthew in Downton Abbey. He was Mary's husband who got murdered. If that's a spoiler, you had time. Um, so Dan Stevens is the lead in this. And he plays a Iraq war veteran who his friend dies in the war and he promises his family, like, his last request was that he visits his family and make sure they're okay. Guys, this man is versatile, okay? I saw no trace of Matthew on Downton Abbey here. It was like night and day. He Obviously, he plays an American, but it is... I loved it. I loved it. If you're looking for a great thriller, you need to run, do not walk. It's called The Guest. Watch it. So good. Dan Stevens, I just have to say, he's a snack. He's a snack. I'm just saying. Sorry, I'm sorry. I just had to say it. It's undeniable. <laughs> it's undeniable. Um, okay, we're moving on. Cat Cat, is it weird that Kate reminds me of Glenn Close? Girl, I hear that every week on YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a compliment. I love Glenn Close. Okay, so next I'm going in with the tried and true, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Is.
Oh, and then we finished it with the original, you know, John Carpenter's Halloween, the original one, um, which we also watched at Sarah and Tyler's at Better Off Red's house. It never gets old. I wish I had you all alone. Wait, what's a song that, what's a song that Annie sings? Oh. That's right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That was a great rendition. Oh, Paul. But that's really all. Are there other words? It's no, there, there's words to them. I can just, like, I know that movie line for line, but I don't think I've ever discerned everything she's saying. In that well, because she's making it up. She's literally improv it. I, I mean, which I respect. Um, anyway, we've, the great thing about Halloween, actually, the great thing about most of the movies we watched on that night was they were all like relative, they were great lengths. They weren't too long. So we made our way through four movies. Beverly Burnson, Kate, you inspire me to try new makeup. I have to catch your recommendation video. Thank you. So I guess, well, Randy told me, was it yesterday you told me that Jamie Lee Curtis like came out and we love Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay. We love her. She, she came out and said that like the new Halloween that's coming out is like, what did she say? That like, it's loosely thematically tied to the Black Lives Matter. Right. Protests. It's like thematically tied to Black Lives Matter. And it's like. Can we just not do that as white people? Can we just not, like, could you just not have <laughs> Jamie Lee? Like, we didn't need to tie the new millionth Halloween movie coming out to Black Lives Matter, did we? I don't think we did. What? Stop it, please. Love her, but no. That's that's a no for me, dog. You're not going to Hollywood. Please stop. But she's already in Hollywood, so I guess she is going to Hollywood. But you know what I mean. I don't know. I don't know the details. If you want to know the details, you have to look it up. But that's all I really needed here is like, okay. Okay. Got it. 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 Okay, so now I'm going in with this tiny gimme brow. This was given to me by Better Off Red. And I do like it. It's like a it's like a second or like a runner up to my Glossier Boy Brow. It's pretty close. Pretty damn close. I wish I had you all alone, just the two of us. Charlie, Jamie Lee Curtis was stretching on the floor, stretching while she shopped at Gap and Gap Kids while I was working there in the early 90s. Oh, that's not where I thought that was going. I thought you were saying she was stretching. <laughs> you mean she literally saw her stretching her body in the 90s. Understood. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> she's, stretching, she's stretching both literally and figuratively is what we're saying. 
Okay, the next thing I'm moving on to is eyeshadow. So I'm pulling my Natasha Denone's back out because I use this once. This is another example of loving a product, but like not pulling it out again. And I also saw the Ms. Wong list this as one of her favorites. And I was like, why in God's name have I not pulled that back out again? Because it really is so beautiful and subtle. So I picked out one shade that I love in it. Okay. If you want to see other shades, I did a whole other video with another look and you can see that too, but we're not doing that. We're not here for that today. Um, I hate the names in this palette, but that's beside the point. The name of the shade I'm going to use is called Center Eyelid. Okay, Natasha Denona. It's like a silvery, this is the shade right here. Like a silvery light blue. Oh, it's so good. I have to say, this is probably one of the only cool tone palettes I own. So pretty. I'm going to go back in and clean that up. Just calm down. Just calm down. Wait, why am I not using Miss Piggy? I keep on neglecting Miss Piggy. We're going to even it out. When I said we're using one shade from that, I meant it. That's all we're using. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with some powder and clean it up. Actually, you know what? I might go back in with the Pat McGrath concealer. Someone said they, they, they think this palette looks boring and um, I don't know that I agree with boring. I think that like you're not going to set the world on fire with this palette. 
I mean, you're not gonna like get wild and crazy, but you can definitely do a soft glam with it and you can do everyday looks with it. And I mean, isn't, I mean, I don't wanna speak for everyone, but isn't that kind of what most of us do? I mean, I have a lot of palettes at this point with like purples and greens and blues and it's, fa it's fabulous, but I can't use that every day. I mean, I could, but I'm not gonna. Okay, so now to blend the brow bone, I'm going to take my go-to shade here from my Alter Ego Daydream palette. It's just a nice neutral lid shade. I'm just gonna clean up. Let's get Miss Piggy again. <sighs> Guys, I hear Melt Cosmetics is gonna come out with their Beetlejuice collection tomorrow. They've been teasing the hell out of it to a point where I'm like, all right, already. <laughs> we get it. All right, great. Now, moving on again, I love this palette. If you wanna see more of an interesting look that has more shades involved, um, you can, there's another whole other live stream where I use several different shades, but that's all we're doing with that. And now I'm gonna move on to something I can't stop talking about which is the Fenty Fly Pencil. This is my new favorite um, eyeliner. And this is in the shade In Big Truffle. So it's, you know, the perfect espresso shade, just really natural, just using it to thicken and darken that lash line. But okay, so guys, your your homework is to watch Seduced on Stars for the Wednesday live stream with Better Off Red and Michelle Wong. Okay, do it. Track your ballot. What? Track your ballot. Well, and uh, more importantly, track your ballot. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> that is your first homework. Okay, that's most important. This eye is always a challenge for me. I don't know why, I, it's like my tired eye and like I feel like liner doesn't stick to it as well as the other eye. Eileen Wallace Beauty, ballot tracked, stars trial ordered, wow. Eileen knows how to do her homework, that's for damn sure.
I'm just doing like a tiny, like a tiny baby wing. And I will go into my waterline with this as well, just cause why not, right? Yes, if you don't know what Seduced is, you live under a rock. Just kidding. It's the new documentary about Nexium on stars. Hi, Cece. Okay, lining done. Now we're gonna curl the lurches. There is going to be a second season of The Vow on HBO in 2021. But honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna need it after, I mean, I'm gonna watch it, definitely. But do I need it after watching Seduced? Probably not. Okay, so I'm going to go in with tried and true, holy grail. This wins out every time. It's a duo. It is my um, Lancome Monster Big and my Benefit Roller Lash. So I'm gonna Zoomy zoom in. Mother of Fools is new lash at Sephora. It is not. I'm so sorry. It's a bummer. You have to get it through the Skin Research Labs website. It, there's a link under in my description box if you click on it, but it's not. And I have a 15% off code for that. So it's basically the same. So I go in, try to coat every lurch and then quickly pull out my roller lash and then I go in and I get like every last nook and cranny. I'm telling you, it takes a little bit extra time, a little more time than just like one mascara, but it's worth it. I hope someone shows up to troll me about my lashes. Do you think they will? Fingers crossed. Marlia, Marlia Bobia, I think that duo gives bigger effect faster. No, I think you're right. Like it's, it actually, I don't know that it actually takes more time than going in with multiple coats of one mascara, if we're being, if we're being fair. Roller lash is just, 
it's just the bomb. It's just so, so good. I wish I had you all alone. I'm sorry, it's so, it's so catchy. Just the two of us. I hope someone, did someone make like a full length song of that? I want to hear it. They did. Oh, really? Yeah, it plays at the very end of the credits of the, the Halloween two years ago. Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. Guys, I swear I won't be a, <laughs> as silent when I'm done with my lashes. I just feel like it, it takes intense concentration. I just got a notification from CC. CC, I'll look in a second. I'll look in a second. Roller lash. Kat says she can't make out what Randy's saying. He's saying, sorry, we need to get him a mic or something. He's saying that there is a version of that song from Halloween that Jamie Lee Curtis sings. Okay. Wow, that's done. Jeez Louise. So, there's a couple, oh, there we go. Okay, I have to say, I ran out of Q-tips today, and I did not have to go in with one, so I'm very proud of myself. Because usually with, you know, because I use lash serum, usually I have to go in and, like, clean up some mascara, but not today. Okay, so guys, I haven't taken a drink in like 30 minutes. What am I doing? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. Next, we are going to, what are we going to do next? We've got three, four products left. I'm going to go in with... Sorry, I'm trying to think. I'm gonna go in with the lip product. Now I know you're thinking, wow, silver light blue eyes and a red lip. Yeah, yeah, because I, I wanted to show them both because these are like top of the list, like top, top recommendations. I could not do this without using a Rare Beauty lip souffle because these are the best, They're the best. <laughs> so this is in the shade Inspire. Um, which is Selena Gomez's go-to shade. I don't think I've used this on a live stream yet.
Yes. Um. Oh, shoot. Wait, hold on a second. Okay. So I know it's a Luke. I know it's a Luke, but we're going with it because I've used every other shade that I have. So we're committing. It's going to work. Next, I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in the shade Pink Gasm. Ever since I saw this on Lisa J, I was like, I have to have this, but I have to go in very subtly. If you guys have any questions about what I used and you weren't here for it or you missed it, it's all in the description box. It's all linked down there so you can find it there. Sorry, Felicity isn't completely gone. We might have to go back over her in just a second. Um, that's what I'm gonna do right now, actually. I forgot, I forgot that Felicity needed a little bit extra help. Ooh, she's a doozy, man. I don't know that I've experienced this in like a long time. <laughs> Whoo, man, tell you what. Okay, and last but not least, I am going to use, I haven't, I haven't broken this out in a hot minute. This is the Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. You guys, remember this came out? It was like all the rage. This is incredible. Like if you ever feel like you need to just blend everything together and make it glowy and delicious. Delicious? Why did I choose that? Anyway, you know what I mean. Again, I feel like I'm giving you a very 80s situation tonight <laughs> with these shades, but sorry, not sorry. Do we need a little more highlight? Like, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. So this is the finished Luke and I'm kind of loving it. I probably, I don't know. No, you know what? No takesy backsies. I love the bright orange red lip with the silvery eye. Um, Thank you guys for sticking with me and thank you for joining me for my full face of Sephora recommendations. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful night. I hope that you have a wonderful day tomorrow. Let's all take a drink together. Oh, you know, no, there's one more thing. There's one more thing. <laughs> this is the last thing I wanted to mention. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. You can see I have like nothing left. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting or Flawless Setting Spray. This is incredible. If you guys need, like if you're gonna wear makeup out, even a little bit of makeup and you have to wear a mask, of course, um, you need this. 
because I have full on worn a full face of makeup, gone out to dinner, and I, what I'll do, I didn't do this tonight, but like I'll put my I'll put my foundation on, I'll spray this on, powder, spray this, and then like at the end of the look, I'll spray it again. It stays like a damn dream. I'm telling you right now. So <clears throat> I just swallowed some. So run, do not walk. Thank you guys again. I will be here on Wednesday, but I won't be by myself. It will be with uh, Michelle Wong and Better Off Red at 7 p.m. Same time, same place. We're going to be talking about The Vow and Seduced, which is the other documentary about Nexium. So if you're into that, definitely watch that and come back and join us because it is sure to be an action-packed, fun, well, fun-filled is the wrong word, <laughs> intriguing conversation. And um, go vote if you haven't voted, please, for the love of God Almighty, vote. And uh, fingers crossed for tomorrow, and I'm just going to be over here uh, uh, drinking this. That's what I'm going to do. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Cheers till next time.